I'm TJ Wiley and I'm from County Donegal, Drumline Litter Kenny. I made a mow plow and uh, as for going into the ground and putting a bit of soapage into the ground and let, letting water away and just more drainage in the ground. And uh, I made it because we always use the neighbours and we have it get a land of the neighbours so I thought it'd be time to get it rolling so that's why I decided to make it for my project. I just looked two legs, I could have put maybe a third one on it but put the two legs are in line with the centre of the back wheel in the tractor so say for tram lines too they'd be the width of the tram lines. I was looking at ones with a packer roller in the back of them I was kind of thinking about putting a packer roller on it but I kind of, I'm not going to lie, I kind of ran out of time then to get one on it but a packer roller would be a good job because you can control your depth and would leave kind of pattern behind you in grassland. But choose that design too. I thought it was a strong design for its, you can see it's well supported and everywhere kind of and I just thought it'd be a strong design. The back one it'll be taking the most pressure at 8 mil wall on it and uh, I supported it there with gussets there you can see to keep it from twisting and all the rest of it then is the whole bottom frame they're 6 mil wall still and uh, they're all 4 inch box and then them stays there, there are three inch box with a six mil wall on them, so it's all good heavy steel. Getting the right design and getting everything cut out to, to the right exact length and all, that's probably would have been the most difficult part, designing it. And it all turned out well and end up, so. Probably learned to work more on my own initiative and uh, welding and just cutting out and just fabricating. It was, it was a good help now, because like, I'd be able to go off now and say, fix something on my own, or like, work yourself. Say, I'd learn a good bit about fabrication. Mm -hmm.